see the hydrogen line will come from the roof over. We'll show you over. Down the burner. Go down the boiler. Capture the exhaust heat. Turn and come up the outside. And even at the outlet of the boiler, we have a heat exchanger to grab whatever even the last heat that's available. Wow. And the emissions on this stack are like 10% what anybody else can do. Wow. With wow. stuff that used to be landfill. Wow. Boy, 10% what everyone else does, what comes out of this at the end. Well, what's interesting is here, we were concerned, will the gas burn, will it burn clean, will our emissions be okay, you know, can we get the steam and evaporator all those things? None of those have been the issue. The issue is metal technology in the reformer. That's the issue. Okay. scrubbers. If there's any the last little dust left, scrub it out. We reclaim the dust. Then that line goes down and into the into the boiler. Burn. Okay. This tank here, with an elevator, takes the chemical that we recover off the bottom to reuse in the plant. So it just goes around and around and around. And around and around and around until it's all exhausted now, and used. Yeah. So what you see around here is a little bit of dirt. When we had the tube break the other day, that's where that came from. Okay. It leaked out among the stack and fell down. So, we'll so ordinarily, up. a plant like this would have dirt everywhere. Everywhere. So everywhere. This, this one not. Thick, or yeah. How thick would you say? Well, it'd be a mess. It'd be a mess. But not here. Not here. So anyway, that's uh, what do they have here? This is on the top of the building after 90% of what normally is emitted from this sort of process or different types of process comes out of this plant. 90% less. Only 10% of what normally comes out. And no liquid waste at all. Zero liquid waste. Goes into the rivers here. It's normally a plant about twice the size is pumping 15,000 gallons a minute into the local waterways of Lake Superior. This used to pump things into the lakes and rivers and no longer does. There is no liquid waste pumped into the rivers. Everything is gathered, recycled until everything is gone. So what comes out of here is 10%. Literally 10% of what is standard for the acceptable as a standard in the industry. And obviously, we're going to change that industry. And this could actually be about 6% or 96% efficient. We're still working out a few little details, but they're extremely happy with the results. If the, if the reformer were to trip out or the boiler to shut down, you can't shut the reaction off, so we would have to vent the gas. That's just a safety valve there. This here, here's your line. That big line there, that's the gas we make from the waste, the biomass. Goes through the cyclones, down into the plant to run the boiler. This little collection system, we take the uh, recovered chemicals off the bottom, mm -hmm. up in the bucket elevator, puts it in the chute. We also have a line here that we can refill the thing when we want to start up. Right, so that's what that line's for. Why we're so environmentally sensitive? That's the Trent River. Yep, okay. Trent River. It goes in the Bay of Plenty. 
and the only water we take from the river is to replace the water vapor that goes from the paper machine that's being lost. Every other drop of water is recovered around and around and around, and we discharge nothing to the river. Yep. So, and this process here allowed us to continue to do that. Yep. Which is a big, big bonus. Environmentally, it changes the industry. It changes the industry. So, it's a huge, huge, uh, I mean, and hauling your waste away, carrying it landfill, and discharging your, your, your other your other half of your waste in the river, it's not acceptable for today. It's not. It's not. We can't do that and if you can anymore. Do it, and if you can do it economically, there's the win. I'm going to do a little scanning of the what you have here, what your process. Lots of different wood products, obviously, going into a we use, paper uh, mill. We use 60% uh, wood mm -hmm. and 40% uh, recycled paper okay. to make our paper, which is corrugating medium, mm -hmm. which is 100% recyclable. Okay. Wow. With a, dis with a zero discharge. Wow. So here you have an industry that supplies a product that's 40% made from recycled and uh, 100% recyclable will zero discharge the environment. Wow. Who touches that? <laughs> Nobody does. I, yeah. The one other thing, when I was on my way in here, I, t I stopped at a gas station. Yeah. And I was just looking, when I was looking for the plant, I talked to a gal, and I might stop by there again to talk to her again, but she was so surprised and impressed that she hasn't smelled any of the fumes that they used to smell yep. in the area. So not only does it not pollute the, the river, what we're putting out here is, what did you say, 10% of, of normal industry standards. Yep. And uh, she said she hasn't smelled any of the strong odors. No. No, no. they're just gone, because it's all 100% con contained. Oh, our, our goal or here. Or 90% contained. Thank you, and what is your name again? I'm the general manager for Ram Pack, and this is our, my baby. Yeah. Thank you, Gary. There you go. Tell us you'd like to see what you're Thank here, you for uh, the tour. No, I'm actually good, and I'm going to turn the camera off now. Okay. <laughs>